Now we're going to look at an alternative method for crossing knots on ascent. So we have some knots in our mobility lines. Let's ascend up to them. Having reached the knots, I'm going to do one of two things. I could either tie a knot below my ASAP line and attach a lanyard, as I do with the standard technique for crossing knots. Or, and this is what I'm going to do, and what I'm going to say is better practice because it's less risk than using a knot and lanyard, is use the descender. So my descender is going to go underneath my ASAP. Why is this lower risk? As we'll see in a moment, the descender being really easily adjustable and obviously much more adjustable than a knot is going to lessen the likelihood of me falling onto a toothed device. So now on one line I have a descender and an ASAP, on my other line I have my ascenders. I'm confident I can now remove my ASAP and maintain two independent attachments to two independent ropes. So I'm going to put my ASAP above the knot on my ascending line. And this is where using a descender rather than a knot and lanyard is a better approach. I'm going to move my descender up the rope as far as I can. So once again, checking our connections, one line I have a descender, other line I have my ASAP. I can remove my ascenders. I'm going to put them above the knot, above my descender, on what was my ASAP line. Now I'm going to do a standard changeover. I'm going to stand up in my leg loop. As I stand up, remove my chest descender from the rope and place it below my hand descender. Now I can remove my descender. I have a quick look at my lines again. This line, my ASAP is above the knot. This line, I'm on two ascenders above the knot. Continue on my way.